Nearly one in four children between the ages of 2 and 11 have untreated cavities in their baby teeth. And the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say that many kids enrolled in Medicaid have no dental services throughout the year. So that's where Give Kids a Smile comes in. They help provide free and accessible dental care to local qualifying children. And screenings are just a few days away. So joining us now is Dr. Susan Ebert with the Soulsbacher Dental Clinic. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So this is so exciting that you get to do this and really provide this service to our community. Talk about just why you guys started doing it. Well, about 13 years ago, the Jacksonville Dental Society decided to participate in the Give Kids a Smile event. And for about the last nine years, they've collaborated with the Salzbacher Dental Clinic. Mm -hmm. And what we do is the community partners come together, and this year it's February 6th. Uh, we're all kind of coming together, and we're going to provide as much uh, dental care as we can to as many children as we can. So when you say dental care, are there certain issues or is it pretty much across the board, whatever the, the child needs? Across the board, whatever the child needs. That's the really nice thing about this event that we have is that we are actually able to provide cleanings, fillings, uh, even some extractions if that's necessary. Whatever the children need, we have enough local dentists who are participating in this event that we can actually provide wonderful care to these kids. And one thing I read, it is for qualifying, you know, kids. So when you say qualifying, what does that mean? To be honest, this year we are not we are not having any qualification criteria at all. Sorry. If a child needs care, we are there to provide care for that child. That's so we're really excited about that. That's wonderful. So how does the process start? I know you said you have a screening before the actual event, and that's really important. It is. We actually have two screening days. One is on the 22nd, and the other is on the 27th. Okay. Uh, on the 22nd, our day is on, that's Friday, actually that's tomorrow, I wasn't even <laughs> thinking that, and that day is actually full, but on the 27th, we have some time available. We can pre-screen these children, meaning that we can get their x-rays, we can come up with a basic treatment plan. That makes us much more efficient on the day of the event. Mm -hmm. uh, and so where is the screening? The screening is being held at the Soulsbucker okay. Center Dental Clinic at 611 East Adams Street. Okay. And for information on getting an appointment for the screenings, because that can become a little bit tricky, 394-1655 uh, yeah. is our yeah. phone number. Just call there. So it's not a situation where you can just walk in for that. You do need an appointment. An appointment is always going to make it better. We have uh, three or four dentists who will be doing the screenings that day. Yeah. And it can get pretty crowded pretty quickly. <laughs> so let me ask you this. On the actual day of the event in February, if, if you haven't gotten a chance to go get a screening, can you still come? You can absolutely still come. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky sometimes, where it's, you may come in at 7 a.m. We might do the screening as quickly as we can, maybe within an hour. But then we may have to ask you to come back yeah. at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's so much easier if we already have the kids screened. But please, please, please feel free. Come down the day of the event. We're yeah. just there to, to help. So exciting to think about this event and to know you've been doing it for 13 years. What difference have you seen this make in the lives of, of children and families? Well, I think the biggest thing is seeing the families that are coming back. Yeah. That's been really exciting for us. Uh, over the last three years, I've seen a couple of the same families come back for treatment. And the nice thing is, is and I'm thinking of one family in particular, mm -hmm. of course, last year they came back and all the kids needed were, were some uh, cleanings. Oh. So that was really special because we'd taken them from a point where they did have some dental, t dental disease and now they just needed some cleanings. And we also focus on education yeah. for the kids and for the parents. Yeah. Thank you so much for this. This is so exciting. And if you want to be a part of the event, it's open to uh, children ages 3 all the way up to 18. Everyone, if you come in, as she said, is treated on a first-come, first-served basis. And if you are pre-screened, um, you will have priority. So those pre-screenings, there's one tomorrow, but that one is full. So you want to try to get to the one on Wednesday, January 27th. It goes from 3 until 6. Um, and the information you need for that is uh, on the screen for the actual event. It's on the 6th, starting at 7.30 in the morning, going all the way to 4.30 at the Soulsbacher Dental Center on Adams Street. If you do need to schedule that appointment, the number is 904-394-1655.